Kia ora friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video I'm going to be, well actually before we get into that let me just show you what I've been up to over the last couple of weeks. I was away last weekend at a miniature retreat with my club and I got to spend a little bit of time adding in a few more details into the cottage. So let me just uh, spin you around and I can give you an update of where we're at. Okay so here we go. What I have done so far is I've created a couple, another couple of trees. So these two here. I've made them the same as this one in the back here so I'll put a link in the description for the detailed video of how I've created that but I created these two in exactly the same way. I've also added in some little shrubs, I had these on hand already and I've just added those in in a couple of places so just to add in a little bit of colour. The other thing that I have done is I've finished off the top of the chimney and that was just using another couple of strips of the brick and just painting the middle of it black so that's now basically finished and the other thing that I've done is glued the glued all of this together you would have seen that in the last video but I've actually cut a hole in the bottom of the diorama so that I can feed all the cables through so I've just added this little light into the porchway there so what I think I'm going to do today is continue to work on the outside so yeah let's get into today <laughs>
Okay, so I've got to the end of today and I am going to call it, I'm going to call it there. What I'll do is I'll just show you where I've got up to and then I'm going to finish. There's a few decisions that I need to make around the vegetable garden because I'm not really too sure how I'm going to go about doing that. So let me, uh, let me show you what I've managed to do today and where I think the vegetable garden will go. Got a bit of a wood pile going and we've got a chopping block which is really, really cool. So that's where I want to put that. It's a little bit more sawdust and other bits and pieces that I want to put in there but basically that is it. That's where that's going to go which will be right outside the house. I've managed to do up to here on the garden and I've also managed to put in a bit of a creeper vine in here to hide some of the wires. I still need to do a little bit more work on that because it's all just one colour. So I've finished off around the uh, lake. I'm going to leave a little spot. I don't know if you can quite see it just in here. I'm going to leave that spot. I might paint up a little dog fellow who might be sleeping underneath the trees. So that might be a little Easter egg that people can sort of look for and find. I've built out some more of the foliage around the lake. They look a little bit more like flax bushes at the stage. And then around the side I've finished off the garden. So now I need to decide on this area. So this is the next area to work on. And I kind of got to the point where I'm not too sure what to do or how to go or what's going to be the best step, next step. Um, in here I want to put a vegetable garden or some sort of garden and I want to kind of do some sort of bamboo kind of frame for some runner beans or something like that. So I want to kind of give it a little bit of height so it's not just all on the ground. This corner here is where I was originally going to put sort of this type of water tank and then I've got some barrels here as well so they could be storing water, they could be storing petrol for a generator or something like that. So that's it for me today and I will catch you tomorrow. Okay so it's the following weekend and luckily enough for this weekend it's a long weekend for us in New Zealand so I'm super excited to see how much we can get through. So today I'm really keen to kind of get into the vegetable garden and create that and I'm going to use some polymer clay to try and make some vegetables and into the garden. I'm probably going to use a whole lot of different materials just so I can get a pretty good look that I'm going for. So I've got this book here. It is one that I've used before. It's all done in 12 scale and so I'm going to need to cut this down into basically quarter scale. So I'm going to do some cabbages, cauliflowers and beetroot out of polymer clay. So there's a whole set of instructions in here. I've done something similar for grandma's kitchen. To it I've got a a whole stack of clay here so definitely got enough to get me going so let's make some cabbages, cauliflowers and beetroot.
some vegetables sitting on the kitchen table. I've kind of put some in, or they're just the leaves at this stage. So they're just the leaves at this stage. And then over here we've actually got the garden. Look at that. That looks so awesome. And we've got these little runner beans climbing up the little framey thing there. Uh, I would have preferred to have the beetroot with the leaves standing up, but um, it still looks pretty cool. And then we've got some carrots in the back. Okay, so that's all we've got time for today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing and come along on this journey with me. And until next time, everyone, I'll see you then. Bye for now.